Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take this wobbler and upgrade him into Ein's Urgon from Overlord. And you may be thinking to yourself, Mr. Crowjack, didn't you do Ein's Urgon earlier? And to you, my observant fellow, I will say yes, I did. However, he was weak. He was incomplete. And now with the most recent update, we can build him better faster, stronger than before, with even cooler abilities. So now I present to you our quest to build the perfect Ainz Ulgaun. And first and foremost, we must turn him into a skeleton because Ainz isn't a fleshy flesh being. He is a bony bonerton. You know, that sentence sounded better in my head before I said it, but then I said it and I just regret it. First things first, we must turn him into Ainz Ulgaun with the clothing. And we know some things that worked very, very well for eyes. So for example, we go over here and we type in the word eyes and we find for him the dark peasant eyes. These are the ones we used before and they're very evil. But what if we tried a different set of eyes? Because Ayn sometimes does have the red eye if I really, really like these ghost eyes. They're fantastic. From there, we must give him a, a, a cape of sorts, a, a cowl. We need to find for him the hood. And I'm not talking the Tab G winter hood, which is definitely a South Park reference. No, not that one. I'm looking for a specific thing. Like, is, it, like, is it a scarf? No, it's not a scarf. Is it a hood? There it is. The spooky hood. This was integral to making Ein's old gown. I kind of want to make a a white version of Ein's one day. It's gonna be kind of cool. But for now, we'll go with the black version of Ein's old gown. Now, you guys have to remember, if you look at his image, he is open chested. So we need to find more open shirty kind of things. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look for our more open chested kind of shirt stuff that shows off his amazing bones. <laughs> Such as this farmer coat. Take the coat, zoom him out, scroll him up, and turn the coat black. Look at that. Fantastic. Now we've got our lovely Ein's Ool gown look here. Now I wish I could make you all the way to his ankles. They still, even with the new update, guys, they still have not given us the ability to take the thing to his feet. A pirate vest just to add a little bit more bulk to our guy. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a coat in here somewhere that looked really good on him. It was the, the pirate coat. Yes, because it gave him even more bulk because he needs to be really bulky. But more importantly, you see this brown fringy stuff? No, 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 no. We know what color we need, guys, and that color is not pink, it's purple. No, not this part, keep it black. Make this purple. You'd think this would be easy, but apparently it is not easy in the slightest. And the ruffles are gold, because Ein's wool gown loves his gold trim. He's all about that gold trim, guys. Now for the shoulders, because Ein's is thick. He is broad. He is massive in the shoulders. Sadly, I can't quite give him that perfect shoulder look that we all know and love. So for now, we will do what I can with this one here to add him and give him that thickness. And we'll add a little bit of that purple swag because you know he's all about that purple swag. And then if you remember, he is silver on top on the shoulder pad. So we will turn these into metal and turn these into a silvery metal appearance just like that. And then once again, a little bit of that very subtle purple swag. Now, Ein's wool gown does love his gold accents. And he did have a golden Egyptian collar. Now, he himself is not wearing the Egyptian collar. But here, we use the Egyptian collar to add that little bit of something, something around the neck. A little bit of you know what, that, that golden jazz around the neck, just like in comic books and in the anime. And ladies and gentlemen, this was, oh, no, 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 no. We're missing an important piece, a skirt. He needs a skirt. Cause sadly I can't give him a proper dress. So we give him the Artemis skirt, which is as low to the ground as we can go here in totally accurate battle simulator. Cause the game won't let me put one down to his ankles. It's really annoying. This is where we got Ein's wool gown before visually. And I want to make a little bit of a tweak. You guys gave me a great suggestion in one of the last videos for a little bit of a modification to eyes. And that was to take a particular helmet like, oh, I don't know, this helmet right here to give him the bones coming out the sides of his helmet. Turn this black, so it's black on top. And I'm going to turn this part into bone color so it's kind of masked in there and hides. 
Now Eins has, oh, this is supposed to be white. This is supposed to be white. I almost forgot. There you go. Now Eins has those humongous bone antler things he has in the anime. Obviously, I can't exactly make that here, but it's close. The last time we had Eins, guys, he was using a staff. And remember, he holds his staff in his left hand, which is very strange. I'm a right-handed person. I hold my right hand, but apparently he's left-handed. His staff is there, and we used the priest staff colored gold but there's actually um there's a new staff from the new update which i think fits visually the eyes will got appearance better let's go over here type in staff that was a q there's no q in staff and then we grab the witch's staff and the witch's staff is not nearly as tall as the priest staff and it is bulky on the top just like eins's staff and then we can take it and color it a wonderful golden color if i can actually do it properly if i could be smart about this i can take every single aspect of this staff and color it gold just for eins because eins's staff is made of gold that is a way better eins staff than the previous one and in his other hand we gave him a fireball if you guys remember right he had a fireball in his hand and that's not accurate it's not like his hand is on fire all the time right so as you can see right here his hand is on fire and that's not correct i wanted him to be able to shoot fire because in the anime he could shoot fire and cast fire spells but his hand isn't on fire at all times so what i might do is change the fireball to the wizard's ability and it's a lightning like attack and his hand is no longer on fire but he can still cast an amazing magical spell and in the last time we did this his staff fired lightning bolts but i don't think i want it to fire lightning bolts i think i want it to fire the necromancer skull ability i want him to convert enemies into skeletons which is very much what eins ulgan would do in the anime speaking of all things eins ulgan would do in the anime the resurrection ability can i see this spawn witch's ability this is a perfect Eins ability. As soon as I saw it, my brain was like, oh my God, that's an Eins ability. Eins is going to resurrect his own undead minions with the spawn witch's ability. He's also gonna summon the gravestone walls, another very powerful lich undead kind of magical spell. These two spells from the new update are perfect for Eins. If you agree with me, Comment down below, let me know what you think. On top of that, we're gonna give him the Vlad Impale. We saw the spikes come up from the ground in the anime in season one. We're gonna give him the ice arena because we haven't seen him use ice magic before. And I'm going to do the Thor lightning bolt because again, I've seen him use lightning bolt in the anime. Now this, these are much more Ein's abilities than before. Hit points, oh, he'll give him a bunch of hit points. Also, he's told me that you can do E, was it E to 36 or 37 is the maximum you can go? Apparently, size. Eins is fairly tall. We'll give him a 1.3, a 30% increase. There you go. Now Eins is looking so much better. Unit weight, I'm gonna make him really heavy. So I think by doing that, I can make him very strong and not easily knocked back. Movement speed, he doesn't move fast. He's chill, he's Eins. He doesn't need to move fast. Attack speed, well, he casts spells real quick. And damage, well, he has Eins will go out after all. And before we do anything, these ghost eyes, I don't think they're correct. Like, I kept looking at them, they were bugging me. And they were bugging me. And they were bugging me. And I'm really thinking the dark pestle eyes. Yep. I think I think those are much more suiting to Eins Urgaun. Take a lovely picture of our Eins, just like that. Fantastic. All of the Uticos is worth um um 27 million points. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, here is our new and improved, properly created Eins. Cool. Go comment down below and give me a rating out of 10. How do you think this new Eins looks in comparison to the last Eins? We have done the best that we can considering the resources we have in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. To start, Eins is going to fight all of these knights and let's see what happens, shall we?
was so awesome. The undead summons are so on point. They're so good for Ainz. Now Ainz is going to fight Spider-Man, Naruto, and Wolverine. If you guys want to see more awesome videos make sure you click the videos that popped up on the screen right here and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and as always guys thank you very much for watching